Check it out. Today we're going to learn about <clears throat> two things that I actually think are very closely related. And those are what's called church modes or, or major scale modes and diatonic chords. On the surface, these things don't seem very closely related, but I think with a little deeper view, they have their genesis in the same source, uh, or at least can be seen that way. So church modes are, or major scale modes, are modes of the major scale, so variations that are inherent inside of the major scale. So first, and each one has a separate name, and there's actually... Um, a music history reason why they're called this and there's a history with Gregorian chant and all these other kinds of things but we've evolved since then uh, for a beginning theorist you can think about it this way and be very very solid in your understanding of it if you want to get deeper into it go ahead and get a, a further study in music history first to understand all of those issues however we can hear the major scale. Well, so say we have this C major scale that has a certain pattern of whole steps and half steps. It has a certain sound. It has a certain character. Every major scale has a certain character. They have that major sound. Well, what if I take that key signature, let's say C, what if I play that scale, but instead of starting on that C, I start on a D? Or an E? What about an F? Oof. Or a G? A? And B? So we can do that, and actually each one of those patterns has a name because we associate that sound with it, we've named it. Anyway, and again, there's a whole history, etc., whatever. So those names are Ionian for the major scale, so Ionian mode. That's C to C, that's straight up C major. Dorian mode, so D Dorian goes like this. Dorian is the second. D Dorian refers to a Dorian scale starting on D. Another way to think about that is that Dorian is the second. So what is D the second of? D is the second of C. Hence, C major scale, but starting on a D. Same thing with E. That's a Phrygian. Phrygian is the third scale degree or third major scale mode. Phrygian. There's actually a separate name for the third scale degree, but in terms of the scale using that key signature starting on the third, Phrygian. So Phrygian, Lydian is the scale starting on the fourth, Mixolydian is the scale starting on the fifth. Aeolian is the scale starting on the 6th. Locrian is the scale starting on the 7th. And you would refer to those things like this. C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, B Locrian. So B Locrian is this. All right, well, let's try it differently. What if we had a Locrian? Well, a and then a Locrian scale. Okay, so we're gonna start on an A. Locrian is associated with the seventh scale degree. A is the seventh scale degree of B flat. Hence, B flat's key signature is A Locrian. Pretty simple. So it's really just manipulating patterns within the major scale. Very closely related, in my mind anyway, is this concept of diatonic chords. Diatonic means in the key, and so chords within the key. So we've talked about how to get chords, or you know, hopefully you've heard about this before, but say you're here's C and you play your arpeggio, right? Well, what 
What if I just block that triad? That's a C major chord, isn't it? Woo! Major third, minor third, C major chord. Well, if we number the scale degrees, because remember our scale degrees can have basically, I mean, just a million different names. But if we think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, this is our one chord. Well, couldn't I take that and just move it all up one step in the key? Huh, look at that. That's a two chord. Three, four, five, six, seven, one. They have different qualities. One is major, two is minor, three is minor, four is major, five is major, six is minor, seven is diminished, and one is major again. So those are diatonic chords. I feel like they're very closely related. And that same pattern comes along in any major key. Say we're in B major and we do our arpeggio and we block it. Well, that's our one chord. Here's our two chord. Three, four, five, six, seven, one. Sorry about that. Seven, one. I would highly suggest that you take your time, whether you're playing it with proper fingering or if you're even, right? That's fine. I mean, your piano professor is not going to think so, but I'm not teaching piano. I'm teaching theory. They're closely related, but they're not completely the same. Go ahead and do that through all the keys. Also, check it out. <laughs> you can do a lot. Anyway, you can do that in any key. Some with a little bit more practice because of the shapes. But you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And of course, there's Roman numerals associated with that. Capital for major, lowercase for minor. Capital as well for augmented, but you have your plus sign. And lowercase as well for diminished, but you have your circle sign, of course. So there we have it. We've got some church modes. They can be in any key. Ionian, D flat, E flat Dorian, F Phrygian, right? And we were just playing around in D flat there. And we can have some diatonic chords. Oh, oh, ah, it. Don't kill me in the comments. I know it's supposed to be a C sharp. So, there you go. The more you play those, the more you sing those, the more you work out with those, the better off your understanding of theory is going to be. The quicker you're going to analyze, the quicker you're going to uh, see those things visually and hear those things orally. Remember, it's an oral art. So if you're just looking at the page and you see these things written out and you're looking at a staff and there it is, well, that's, that's one level of understanding. And that's a very good one to have. But a deeper one that's more connected to the meaning comes from this. Whether you're doing that on a piano, a guitar, a marimba, any kind of uh, an accordion, any kind of chording instrument, any instrument that can play chords, make sure you play those chords and listen. Listen to how they sound. Play those church modes. Listen to how they sound. I'll have those names posted, uh, the, the modes in the major scale, on the comments. But uh, other than that, please send me some questions if you have any, and hope you have a good day. Catch you next time.